One spring morning, they were swimming near the surface. Suddenly, the whale song changed, as out of the darkness emerged creatures that sent a shiver through the mother whale's body. Sharks. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be reading Migaloo the Famous White Whale by Mark Wilson. And we got this when we got back from Park City, Utah. And um, it was from fishpond.com. And, and I think it came from New Zealand or Australia. Now, now for those of you who don't know Migaloo, I mean... For those of you who, for those of you who don't know Migaloo, he was he's an all-white humpback whale that has been spotted off Byron Bay in 1991. And and I'm going to read this book with with help from my text-to-speech friends. So um, when we when we go in this page. Oop, 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 oop. Looks like, like we got a, like a like a lot of pieces of these this art stuff, and but and of course Migaloo is the star of the hour. We know that, but anyways, let's get reading. And this is by Lothian. Children's books. All right. Migaloo, the Famous White Whale by Mark Wilson. Under the warm tropical sun, a pod of whales swam in the shallow waters off a North Australian beach. Now and then, one would dive, then suddenly burst out of the water in a spray of foam and bubbles. Nearby, another whale floated quietly in the swell. She was about to give birth. A school of mehi mehi swam by as a tail appeared first, then a flipper, and there he was, a little white whale calf. The calf turned towards his mother as they both listened to a wonderful sound echoing through the water. The calf didn't know what the sound meant. But his mother did. It was the whale song, calling them to set off on the long and dangerous journey south. As they entered a bay to rest one night, strange creatures gathered around them. Many had come a long way to see the calf, the only all-white humpback whale in the world. They call him Migula. Migulu was scared, and stayed very close to his mother as the strange creatures circled them. His mother switched to tail at them, but they wouldn't go away. So finally, she nudged Migala towards the open sea and they continued on their journey. Each evening, as they tried to find somewhere to rest, the same creatures would come to meet them. But there seemed to be more and more creatures each time. So mother and calf would head for the open sea once again. Migalu's mother kept him close. She knew that his white skin would make it easy for predators to see him through the clear blue water. Every day as the whales sang, Migaloo slowly learned to recognize the different sounds and what they meant. He would try to sing along, but he could manage only short grunts and groans. One spring morning, they were swimming near the surface. Suddenly, the whale song changed, as out of the darkness emerged creatures that sent a shiver through the mother whale's body. Sharks. Migaloo's mother pushed them all the way as the shark circle closer and closer. Mikalu stayed close as she twisted and turned, trying to keep the sharks away. But one shark suddenly stopped circling and came straight at the calf. His mother desperately twisted in the water and slapped the shark with her tail fin. Stunned, the shark turned and swam slowly away. Some of the other whales joined in now and chased the other sharks away. Once the danger passed, Nigula and his mother continued traveling south. Storm clouds gathered above them. And they slide on through rain, hail, and giant waves. For three days, Mungle and his mother struggled in the storm. But then the skies cleared. The water became calm again and they entered a new world. The water was teeming with life. There were whales and other creatures everywhere, and huge mountains of ice surrounded them. Then, the sound of a new whale song rang out. The water turned as the whales tried to attack the crew before they could escape. 
In the confusion, Miglu was tossed around, turned this way and that, until he finally found himself in calmer waters. All alone, Miglu desperately searched for his mother, but she was nowhere to be seen. Then, he heard it, very softly in the distance. It was the wonderful sound of the whale song, calling him home. Aww, they love each other, don't they? On June 28, 1991, an all-white humpback whale was spotted traveling north, in the waters off Byron Bay, Australia's most easterly point. From that day on, people would look out for him all up and down the coast, during the whale's annual migration. As soon as Miglu was sighted, boats, yachts, aircraft and jet skis would surround him, trying to get as close as possible, until one day, a trimaran accidentally ran over him. He carries the scars of those wounds to this day. The government has now passed special legislation to stop boats going too close to Miglu. All whales, dolphins and porpoises in Australian waters are protected species. And this picture was from Heron Island, Queensland on the Great Barrier Reef in June 2007. Miglu is a humpback whale, belonging to the same family as the blue whale, fin whale, bride's whale, say whale and mint whale. He is approximately 13 meters long and, until recently, was the only documented white humpback whale in the world. He weighs approximately 30 tons, but at birth, he will only weighed about 2 tons and been only 4 or 5 meters long. Miglu was first sighted in 1991. He travels 12,000 kilometers from Antarctica up to the east coast of Australia to the Great Barrier Reef every year, reaching speeds of up to 14 kilometers. Miglu feeds on krill, small shrimp-like animals, and small fish. He eats up to 1.52 tons of food a day. He has bell and plates, not teeth, to trap his food. Recent close-up pictures of Miglu show that he may have skin cancer or cysts as a result of his white skin not giving him enough protection from the sun. It is assumed Miglu sings like most male humpback whales. The songs are complex, with each population singing its own unique song. It is invented by a dominant male, and the others all copy it, singing for a whole season. Then it changes slightly for the next season and so on. The songs can last for hours and the sound can travel for many kilometers. Wilson's exquisite illustrations capture the grace and intelligence of these extraordinary creatures who enchant whale watches around the world. To learn more about it, visit www.hatshetherchildrens.com.au. Yep, that's the website. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it. So, uh... Don't forget to mash that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell your friends about Miko Shorts HD on YouTube. And we'll see you next time right here on Miko Shorts HD. Check us out on Instagram at MLSHD and also on TikTok at Miko Love Sharks. And if you don't like this video, Miko's gonna catapult you from your kayak and you will go flying into the air. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Peace in the Middle East. To see some behind the scenes of photos, be sure to follow us on Instagram. Turn on notifications. Go check out my second channel, Micro Shark Report. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next video. Bye. 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 It's Micro Love Sharks HD. Look at all this art.